It is freaking cold out here. Oh my gosh. Today is actually the day we're saying goodbye to the dually for good. Off to a new home. No, this is not dirt on the truck. That's nice. You gotta give it one last vacuum, wipe down, empty the bed. All vacuumed out, frost is almost done melting off the truck. You can see the vacuuming, I wipe down all the door jams and all that stuff. Wipe the wheel, the dash, the seats, get them all wiped down. They're a little bit worn from 16, 17 years of use, but they're actually in pretty good shape overall. The carrier should be here soon to pick this thing up. And this is the same company that shipped the Whistling Diesel first gen for us. We're just gonna start working with these guys pretty much for every truck that we end up needing to ship. Not every truck we give away we ship. It's in his situation, so he's not gonna be home for months at a time. And so we figured we don't we don't even want him to have to wait for the truck, even though he's not going to be home for a while. We're just gonna ship this out there so that his family can receive the truck and have it parked in their driveway with the cash and just have it there waiting for him when he gets back so he doesn't have to deal with that when he gets back from a long span of time on the job. So that's gonna be awesome, super excited for him. Kelsey McDonald out of Massachusetts. So that's where this thing is going. All loaded up, ready to head out. Off to Massachusetts. The dually's gone, it's off, no longer here. And if the dually's gone, and if this is the next giveaway truck right over here, what are we buying next? Take your guesses in the comment section below. Now normally this truck doesn't have a starting issue with the battery, but the truck had just been started up. If you watch my previous videos, the truck has been like started up and shut off and started up and shut off a bunch in the last about two weeks without really any drive time to keep that battery charged back up. So I'm actually gonna start it up with the hood open. Even though I'm super confident that the runaway, you know, high idle thing is solved, still makes me so nervous starting this thing up. So I do have my handy dandy board ready, just in case, but haven't had any issues the last, like, I don't know, handful starts. Just maintained a nice low idle, so let's see. The thing still just freaks me out about the whole one or two times where it revved through the roof. It, I mean, it's got me so paranoid about starting it up every time, even though it hasn't done that since I backed the power screw out. But still, it just, it burns something in your mind, I'm telling you. It makes you nervous every time you drive the truck again. I was talking to Decent Garage about that. I was like, dude, I'm like, even though it's not doing it anymore, I'm still so paranoid about, oh my gosh, like, these things can really run away. He's like, trust me, I know. He's like, I think medically speaking, they should put that down as an actual diagnosis is runaway, like first gen runaway disorder or paranoia or something. I'm like, yeah, no kidding. Cause it, it, once it happens once or twice, you don't forget it. Let me just say that. Just to sum it up, you don't forget. So what we're actually gonna do is take this thing on its first drive since the install of that 3200 governor spring. So we haven't done that yet. I'm actually gonna get the heat on because it is cold as crap in here. I gotta just get that nervousness, that that runaway fear out of my system. So I've still got the intake taken off for now. We're not going very far. I know some people are like, oh, don't drive with your intake off because you could damage your turbo wheel or you could, you know, whatever. Just damage stuff, different components of the engine. If you don't have your intake off and you're fearful that it could run away on you and you have no way of getting out quick to kill it because you have your intake on when you're doing your first test drive, you're gonna be in a lot more world of trouble than if you would just leave it off, go for a short one mile trip and come back. Um, we're not going on any gravel or dust or nasty roads or anything that have a lot of debris or anything that can fly up. Pretty much just a clean, slow back road around the corner, get up to speed a little bit, and we're just gonna get on the road here and cross your fingers and hope that she just drives as smooth as she idles. Now I'm not hammering on it, I'm telling you guys, I'm like, I'm in fourth gear, I'm going about 45 right now, but I'm just taking it easy because I'm telling you, any of you that have had a first gen like runaway or even just, you know, crazy high idle like that, like three, 4,000 RPM, it's freaking terrifying. Like it's, 
that's a lot of noise right in your face. So I'm just kind of taking it easy, keeping it under 3,000 RPM, <laughs> which is still a lot for one of these trucks, but you know. Just driving it enough to get a feel for that, that new governor spring. It, feel, it feels different, the throttle just feels different. Since these are like very, very mechanical oriented trucks, every time you do a modification that has to do with springs or levers or you know anything like that, you feel it in different components of the truck, especially like a governor spring, you kind of feel a little bit in your foot, the change a little bit. Like it's, it's I don't know how to explain it, it's not like, drastic in terms of the feeling on the pedal, but it's a little bit. It runs good. You can definitely tell the thing needs a new clutch, which I actually just scheduled that today to get done. I did call Jim down in Red Key at maximum overdrive transmission. That's where we had Nasty Red's transmission build. That's where we had my dually that I used to have, my five speed way back. That's where I got my dual disc clutch put in. We had another transmission. Okay, yeah, we had a third gen transmission built down there. We've had a lot of stuff done down there and he's always done good work. So uh, we're gonna take this down there. We're supposed to take it down there on Friday and he's supposed to put a new clutch in it new carrier bearing and I'm probably gonna have him look at the pump and just see if it needs any small tweaks since he's done hundreds and hundreds of these trucks. Just have him give his second opinion on it, his more professional opinion on the matter and look through the pump and just kind of, you know, make sure everything looks like it's good, it's in good tune, in good shape. I'd rather do that than just assume that I always know what I'm doing and not get a second opinion. I would just rather have peace of mind knowing that whoever gets this truck next, everything's been looked through by people that know what they're doing to make sure that everything's just right. I'm actually gonna let this thing run for a little bit just because it hasn't ran very long to keep that battery slightly charged charged up, so that's why I added it on the trickle charger, because I did a bunch of startups, but I didn't really get any run time to charge that battery back up, and it was, it's been really cold. It needs a little bit of charge time, but anyway, so Rosine is at the shop. Had bad death wobble. It needs dual steering stabilizers in the front, and then it also needs to have the track bar looked at, possibly bushings along the lines of stuff like that in the front end, just to make sure that that's you know, not the issue, because it very likely is the issue. Just to have it looked at, just to make sure everything's good with that truck. And then, other than that, that's the only truck that we're gonna have on hand, because this one's going soon. You know, like I said, this giveaway ends on December 21st, which by the way, that's like 12 days left to enter to win this truck, and then that giveaway's gone. And right now, until December 12th, every $5 is five entries to win, and then five X entries are ending on the 12th, and then it's going down to every five dollars is one entry so if you want to get 5x entries i would not waste any time on that in fact i'll even throw cash in every single order that's placed today just to try to encourage you a little bit more to get those orders in keep in mind guys this giveaway is short it's ending soon there's not much time left less than two weeks and those orders that come in greatly help us and help the business and help us plan out what we're doing next enable us to keep doing what we do because this is of course how we make our living I don't have, you know, another job that I do and then I come and do this on the side. I do this 50, 60, 70 hours a week, you know, between filming, editing, marketing stuff, working on the website stuff, checking inventory, keeping track of the orders that are coming in and going out, all that stuff. I mean, it takes a lot more time than some people realize, but this is a full time, overtime, you know, type job. I mean, career. I mean, it, it takes a lot. Without you guys, we couldn't do it. So just remember that those orders that come in, that's how we're able to give away trucks like this to people like you. And that's also how we're able to take, you know, this truck that was essentially a scrapyard pickup truck and transformed into something that some people 
could drive for the next 10, 15, 20 years, you know, and the truck's been completely gone through and everything's been redone on it. So, you know, I don't know. Everybody has their different tastes and what they want to do. Some people just want to buy brand new trucks, slap some lift kits and tires on them and say, hey, we've got a crazy build. Me personally, that stuff is super cool. I, I don't have anything wrong with that. I'd love new trucks too, but I would rather find something like this that was neglected, restore it, and then give it to somebody else. That way, one truck at a time, we can restore some of these old trucks that have been basically forgotten and give them a second chance for somebody else to enjoy for years and years and years to come. Because let's be honest, most people would rather buy a new truck and let these just rot away than put money into these because you usually don't get your money back out of them. We happen to be in a unique position to where we can get our money back out of them. So it just makes it even better, you know? So anyways, guys, hopefully enjoyed that. Truck runs and drives good. It's supposed to be down at the shop this weekend to get a new clutch and some of those other parts that I mentioned. Center console should be in any day now. It should be done. We're gonna do the new front bumper. We got the new injectors we're gonna slap in. There are a couple other things. So just stay tuned. I will put cash in every order placed today. So if you go and place your orders today, I will put cash in those orders. Thank you guys so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.